<laughs> Hello there. So, you must be the renowned traveler. Hey, don't forget about the equally renowned Paimon! <laughs> of course. Well, it just so happens that our tavern, Angel Share, is hosting a Bartender's Academy Week. I'm hoping the event might interest you. Basically, you'll have full access to all of our ingredients to mix cocktails or any other drink you please. As long as you refrain from being wasteful, you can enjoy unlimited refills for the drinks you create. Unlimited refills! Also, you'll be rewarded handsomely if the guests are happy with your drinks. What? There's even rewards? Where do we sign up? It's called an academy, but attendance is certainly not mandatory. And you don't have to make your decision right away. You're more than welcome to give it a try first. So, what do you think? Will you give the Academy a try? Great, then please come on in. First, Charles will uh, walk you through some basic techniques. Hey, I know you two. So what can I get for you today? Hey, Charles. Actually, we came to be both. Bartenders today! Bartenders? Oh, <laughs> so Luca roped you two in, did he? He's got quite a knack for that. You're certainly talented at handling difficult tasks. There's no doubt about that. But mixing cocktails is a whole different game. It's delicate work and requires a certain amount of finesse. Everything from the ratios of your ingredients to your mixing techniques could affect the final product. Cooking and cocktail making have a lot in common, you know. All right. I'll take your word for it. Oh, and one more thing. In a previous event, we had a student who arbitrarily mixed three kinds of hard liquor. Just one glass was enough to leave a customer passed out on the floor. So in light of that incident, we decided to no longer provide alcoholic ingredients to beginners. I hope you'll understand. Great. That just about covers all I have to say. You'll learn all the skills and techniques you need on the fly. to Paimon and try making another.
You're a quick learner. This tastes pretty good. Hyman agrees. This is amazing. <laughs> that was just practice, though. On the job, customers often will have special requests for their drinks. Some may enjoy a stiffer drink, while others might prefer something more sour. Everyone has their own preferences. Adjusting the amounts of the ingredients is always the key. Hyman would like a caramel pinecone extra sweet in the biggest glass you have, please and thank you. Well, that's about all there is to it. But to become a truly exceptional bartender, in addition to mixing skills, you'll also need to master conversing with your customers. All right. In that case, you two can take this counter. If you have questions or need any help, just give me a holler. Well, well. This is a surprise. I didn't expect to see you two behind the counter today. In that case, I'd like a death afternoon. Leave it to Kaya to make things difficult right from the start. Come now. I just wanted to see how he'd react. I admit I didn't expect to see you here today, Sister Rosaria. With so many demanding customers that frequent the tavern, I only thought I'd help the traveler gain some experience. There he goes with that smooth talk again. Don't get me wrong, I was only trying to be helpful. If anything, you should be thanking me. Now, how about we start with something simple, like a moonlit alley, for instance. Oh, and make it a large, please. I'll leave my drink up to you. Just... Make it a tea of some kind, and not too big. <laughs> Please, take your time. Waiting in anticipation is half the fun. The drink you made me is fine. It's just that I rarely ever drink tea. The taste always reminds me of... certain... things. Ah, I presume you're referring to the church? Yes. The church once held an event that I couldn't attend, but Sister Barbara still saved some tea and dessert for me. The dessert had already gone stale, so she whisked it away when I wasn't looking. But the tea tasted just like this drink you made me. Boy, you're in rare form today, Rosaria. Sounds to me like Mondstadt's just gained another black tea lover. <laughs> I'd prefer something a little stiffer. That depends. If I point out a few flaws, will you make me another one? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'd never subject you to such treatment. Gosh, Kaya sure is a tough nut to crack. You never know what he'll say next. How can you stand to drink with this guy, Rosaria? Hmm? I don't really care what's going through his mind as long as we only talk about drinks. Besides, Kaya's only interested in people or things that intrigue him, whether that's you, the innkeeper here, or anybody else. Hey. How could you divulge so much about your dear old drinking buddy, hmm? You think I'm saying too much? <laughs> Get over yourself. It's no big deal. 
Ugh, I'm constantly surrounded by uptight folks day to day. I prefer the easygoing atmosphere in the tavern. Oh, are we gossiping about people who take themselves too seriously now? Well, speaking of which, I know someone who could easily place in the top three most serious people in Mondstadt. As to their level of seriousness, well, let me put it this way. They probably wouldn't even flinch if I said that to their face. Are there really rankings for people like that? Of course. Just off the top of my head, there's a running list for the most consistent drinkers, hardest workers, worst cooks, or even biggest hoarders of dark secrets. Sounds to Paimon like Mondstatters have way too much time on their hands. Are there really that many people who don't need to work? Why, of course. How about... Ah, best bartenders. Really? That's great! Our names will be remembered together forever! <laughs> well, I must admit, the atmosphere you bring isn't half bad. You can say that again. Just looking at these two brings a smile to my face. Good bartenders create a nice atmosphere and get people in a good mood. You know, like a mascot. So I guess there's really no contest for the title of best bartenders. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. Thanks for your hospitality. Yeah, I should be going too. By the way, that black tea tasted great. I'll try to make some for myself in the future. If I can manage to get up early enough in the morning, that is. Until next time. Oh, it's Master Deluk! What brings you here? Do you have nothing to do today? <laughs> Me? Nothing to do? Don't count on it. I heard you two were working as bartenders, so I thought I'd drop by to see how you're coming along. Wow, you really do catch wind of things quickly. So, tell me, how do you like being a bartender? <sighs> yeah, it's still a little too early to tell. We haven't been at it for very long. Just tell me your initial feelings. Excited, confused, anything. How does it feel to be a bartender? I see. Hey, didn't you want to ask Paimon too? Paimon's initial feeling is, drinks taste good. <laughs> good. I'm happy for you. Now. Could you make me a Grey Valley Sunset, then? I'll leave the size up to you. Great. Take your time. Not bad at all. It's all about the ingredients. If the fruit are fresh and juicy, then the drink will naturally be sweet and tasty without adding anything extra. Sounds like I should thank the soil of Mondstadt. It just so happens that Grey Valley Sunset is the first drink I ever mixed. I was still quite young. My father laid out several ingredients and told me to experiment with them. No requirements. And no instruction. In hindsight, he probably just wanted to test my creativity. In the end, I just made a glass of fruit punch. Much like this one. Oh? But why fruit punch? 
Finch! My father was equally surprised. I didn't really put much thought into it. I just figured that it would taste sweet. Looking back on it, I was so young and naive. Oh? I never thought about it, I suppose. My father didn't say a word at the time, but... Thank you. By the way, there's something I'd like to give you. But I suppose it's better to wait until you have more experience with your bartender job. I have no doubt that you'll do very well. And Paimon will... Uh, uh, be rooting for you. <laughs> very well. Then, I look forward to seeing your good work. See you around. Come back soon when you have a minute. Hi there, cutie. It's good to see you. <laughs> it is certainly unusual for us to meet in a place like this, but as Lisa said, I'm glad to see you. Hey, what do you mean by a place like this? The tavern is a wonderful place to relax and unwind a little. <sighs> do you have any idea how hard it was for me to drag the acting Grandmaster away from her desk? We've only been here for a few minutes, and worry is already written all over her face. <sighs> Lisa... Yeah, this is the acting Grandmaster we're talking about. It's only natural that she has a lot on her plate. But you know what they say, now that we're already here. Uh, why don't you let him mix a couple of drinks for you two? It'll make you feel a lot better. Honestly, Jean is the only person I know who needs to be taught how to relax. Hey cutie, whip me up a love poem. Medium, extra sweet. And how about you, Jean? What are you in the mood for? I'll just have coffee. Medium, please. Master Jean, you drink coffee all the time. Wouldn't you like to try something else? Thanks, but no. I want something to help keep me awake. Thanks. The sweetness is just right. Mmm, very good. Mmm, the coffee is strong and rich with just a nice hint of bitterness to it. Actually, I do understand what you meant, Lisa. Hmm? I've been reflecting on my weaknesses lately. There's still room for me to improve in many areas, such as my productivity and management. I'm concerned my stress may even be starting to somehow affect you as well. What? <laughs> See? Cutie knows. You were working yourself way too hard, so I thought I'd take you out for some drinks. All I wanted was for you to have some fun. But even in the tavern, you're still thinking about work. That's what's most concerning. If you're constantly under stress like this, it's only a matter of time before you burn out. Oh, 
you also agree with Lisa, Traveler? Hmm. So, is learning to relax actually my biggest challenge? Yep. Work hard, play hard, and rest even harder. The two of you may need even more rest than you'd expect. <laughs> All right, I... I understand. Thank you. All of you. Now I know that this place serves refreshments for both the body and the mind. Is that why you and Kaya like the tavern so much? Yes and no. It really depends on who's making the drinks. Speaking of which, we couldn't have changed Jean's mind without you today. You sure have a way with words, cutie. <laughs> then we'll see you later. I'll consider coming here to relax if I have another opportunity. Sounds great! Take care, you two! Xiong Li! Ah, Traveler. Good to see you. I trust you are well? Wait! Xiong uh, Li, what are you doing here? If I am to roam about the world, then I certainly mustn't limit my destinations. The free and prosperous land of wind is as splendid a place to visit as any. And it's quite a pleasant surprise to run into you here. One misty garden, please. I take my tea strong, thank you. is clear and glows with a pleasing hue. Its richness is complemented by a floral and fruity fragrance. Exquisite. Wow! So Zhang Li is even super knowledgeable about tea! Paimon usually just gulps down the tea and says something simple like, Mmm, yummy yummy in Paimon's tummy! Mindfully savoring the tea shows due respect to the person that brewed it for you. Tea of good quality is hard to come by, and those capable of brewing tea according to the occasion and emotions even more so. Oh, Paimon gets it now! So, could you teach Paimon how to savor tea like you do? It seems you smell it first and drink it, right? That's correct. Every type of tea is unique. The more you drink, the more you will understand the subtle differences. Smelling the aroma will reveal the quality of the tea. Lower grade teas emit a musty and seemingly scorched scent, whereas ones with a delicate yet soothing aroma are usually of a higher quality. If you want to be more particular, according to Liyue ancient tradition, you could acquire a vintage goblet, which is used specifically for examining the aroma. Not to worry. Knowledge is vast. It's never too late to learn. As a beginner, you can try this method. First, observe the color. Then, smell the fragrance. And finally, take a sip. Remember, you can understand anything as long as you approach it in the proper order. Chowing Village in Northwest Liyue is famous for their tea industry. It would be well worthwhile the visit when you get the chance. What I shared with you today are mostly my own habits as an old-fashioned Liyue local. Each region has its own tea traditions and culture. One should always respect the conventions of the local region. Paimon gets it, uh, but whether Paimon can remember it all is another story. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for such excellent tea. It made my trip out here all the more worthwhile. If you ever come to manage a tea house, I will certainly be a regular. Well, we're already pretty busy. I don't think we'll have time to manage a side hustle at a tea house. Regardless, you have my complete support. 
Let's call it a day. I won't take more of your time. All the best with your new pursuit. Ah, yes. The bill. Just put it on Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor's tab, as usual. Hello. Hi there! Paimon would be more surprised to see you if we hadn't already seen a bunch of our friends. Huh? Wait! You're Shinha! This is a surprise. This place isn't easy to find. Angels share. The name doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. Mr. Zhongli was kind enough to help me with directions. I'm thankful. You needed help with directions? Wait, you came all this way just for a drink? That's right. Because... we're friends. Here's the menu. Boreal Watch. Hmm. Boreal? As in a cold climate. Well, Boreal Watch here probably is referring to the Wolf of the North. You could say it's cold. Caramel pine cone. How could that be a drink? Oh, Paimon's tried that one. It's actually caramel flavored coffee. Pine cone just refers to the color. Huh? These names are confusing. I can't make sense of any of these. I'll leave it up to you. As long as it's something that tastes like Qingxin or violet grass. Fine. That's a good idea. You've practiced the Adepti arts long enough. It's time for something new. Let's make Shenha a snow-covered kiss. It sounds like a perfect fit for her. It's sweet and smooth. Not bitter at all. What is it? It's called a snow-covered kiss. Whisk milk until it frosts, then gently pour it over some juice. It looks like it's covered by a layer of snow. Don't ask why it's called a kiss, though. Diamond doesn't get it either. It's probably just a gimmick to get it to sell better. A uh, gimmick? Romantic. Uh, it's hard to explain. Stop making Paimon come up with things. Mm -hmm, that's right. Oh. I see. I seem to understand now. confused now. Occasionally I chew on divine herbs as I wander about in the mountains. I have witnessed the moment a new sprout breaks through the soil. Oh, the elation in my heart then does bear a resemblance to what I'm experiencing now. Thank you for helping me understand these obscure names. I might need your help again sometime in the future. Small for me reef, please. <clears throat> Thank you. I... <clears throat> I'm fine. Huh? There's something off about Eula. <gasps> Was she already drinking before she got here? But Foamy Reef has coffee in it. 
Would it upset her stomach if she has coffee after liquor? For her tummy's sake, let's water it down before serving it to her. Pretty good. <laughs> I just came here from the cat's tail. Perhaps I had a little too much to drink. Yeah, it's pretty lonely to drink by yourself. You'll feel better if you talk to us. I suppose I always do drink alone. As long as I'm in Mondstadt, I'll never be welcome at taverns. I was actually feeling good today and wanted a drink, but they still wouldn't get off my back. <sighs> Tell me, how did you manage to make so many friends? <gasps> People always sound so appreciative and are always smiling when they talk about you. <sighs> but as for me, just mentioning my family name is enough to make everyone... <sighs> you didn't choose to be born into the Lawrence clan, and we don't care about that kind of thing. The Eula we know is a great person. But you don't like being straightforward. You always pretend to hold a grudge, and you try to hide your tenderness away from everyone. Hey, who said I was pretending? Do you think so? <laughs> it's impossible to imagine. <clears throat> Even when I'm this drunk, even after being a Knight of Favonius for all this time, people still... <sighs> Whatever. Oh, right! Tone of Bard said something wise like that, too. Just be yourself, Eula, and keep moving forward. Sooner or later, you'll change what people think about the Lawrence clan. Okay. Thank you. I... <clears throat> I sh I should go now. Mm, no need. I want to remember what you said. And I won't be able to think about anything else until I write everything down. You sure is a lot more open after a few drinks. But it does feel like something's missing without her signature revenge line. Uh-oh. When she wakes up in the morning, do you think she'll come threatening us to forget what happened today? Ahoy, Traveler. Great timing. Join us for a round? Traveler, what a pleasant surprise. Wait, did you two come together? Well, this lady decided on a whim that she wanted a little vacation, so we ended up traveling around the area. 
But I guess we have different ideas of vacation. We hardly hiked the mountains before we came here to put our feet up. Talk about spoiled. <laughs> Come now. No need to hurt anyone's feelings. Besides, I specifically chose this place because I knew how much you like to drink. But our captain here has seen a lot more of the world, so she's not exactly thrilled with this little tavern. <laughs> It'll do. Anyway, this one's on me, okay? Beto's paying? Uh, does that include us? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Guess that's just a habit now. I'll have a small birch sap on the sour side. Uh, I will have a large dusk, please. Thanks. The bittersweet taste of nostalgia. You mean the taste of going from rags to riches? Just what kind of taste is that? <laughs> it's mainly sour with just a tinge of sweetness and a lingering aftertaste. Interesting. Does it taste like starting a little business then discovering that selling fruit isn't very lucrative? No need to get into the details. Let's leave the past in the past. <laughs> Who'd have thought that the dignified Tianjuan was once a fruit vendor on the street? On the other hand, I bet few can tell that I'm from an ordinary fishing village, right? Not necessarily. If you ask me, I'd say that Captain Beto has eyes that can pierce the sea. You're an adventure-seeking pioneer who tames the wind and the waves, which is clearly indicative of someone who grew up by the sea. Hey, you're not mocking me, are you? Come now. It wouldn't do any good to be sarcastic. I know how fierce you can be with words. It's my treat today, so remember to take it easy on me. All right, then I'd like to have a few more. Well, you heard the good lady bartender. Ooh, I like where this is going. I'll have another round, too. Mmm. Mondstadt's fresh fruit juice is hard to top. I wish I could enjoy some every day. <laughs> Are you serious? Don't tell me you're gonna open a Sunsetia trade route now. <laughs> An interesting proposition. Wait. Uh-huh. Really? I'm just joking, of course. There's already a whole industry established for that. They don't need me muscling my way into their business. Thanks for the drinks today. If you'd ever like a cushy job, I'd enjoy having you as my personal bartender. You're also welcome aboard the Alcor. The crew loves to drink. You could come feast with us. I promise you'd have a blast. My, my. Captain Beto, are you competing with me for talent? That's hardly necessary. You may simply stop by the Jade Chamber whenever you want the Traveler to mix you a drink. Uh, is it Paimon? Or does it sound like they think you work for them? <laughs> 